Hello everyone, this is Colin again from Gigabyte. Now as most of you probably know, Gigabyte recently launched our Z68 motherboards. Now Z68 motherboards support Intel's latest Z68 uh, chipset. The system I have in front of me today is a Z68 UD3H-B3 motherboard. And today I wanted to show you one of the unique features that Gigabyte has on our Z68 motherboards, and that's Touch BIOS. So as you can see in front of me here, I have the latest version of Touch BIOS. Now of course, as the name implies, you can use your finger uh, to make BIOS changes. But of course, not everybody has a touch-enabled monitor. So today, I'm going to show you Touch BIOS using a mouse. One of the unique features about Touch BIOS is that it enables you to make BIOS changes within the actual uh, Windows OS. So one of the things that you traditionally have to go back into BIOS to make BIOS changes is setting your, your supervisor password. So today I'm going to show you how to do that actually using Touch BIOS. So as you can see here, we have a row of different icons, and they have different functions, of course. And we have the actual wording uh, below for each icon to make it easier for people to understand what the icon is. And of course, since this is a Windows-based application, uh, any uh, language that your OS is in, it'll actually show the, the correct language that, that you're using for your OS. So, like I said, I'm going to set the supervisor password. So I'm going to go into it here. I'm going to click my password, one, two, three, four, and it asks you to confirm. So one, two, three, four, and then enable. So there you have it, enable password success. I've already enabled my password, and I didn't have to go into the, the BIOS to enable to do that. Now another unique feature about Touch BIOS is it allows you to take screen captures of your BIOS settings. So let's say I'm an overclocker, for example, and I want to go into the overclocking section and maybe change my, my frequencies. So as you can see here, we have the different uh, ratios, um, and let's say I wanted to remember these settings that I did. So all I have to do is take a, a snapshot, and it'll ask me where I want to save that snapshot, and give it a name. Oh. Snap, save. So let's say I wanted to see those settings, or maybe I wanted to send those settings to my friends. All you have to do is open the image file. So again, it's very easy to make your setting changes and it's very easy to actually take snapshots of those, those setting changes. Now, of course, not everybody uh, is very comfortable making BIOS changes. Of course, you know, some novice users, maybe they're afraid that you know, any changes that they make, it may mess up their system, it may cause it to not boot. But one of the unique features on Gigabyte motherboards is that we have dual BIOS. So dual BIOS is basically two BIOS chips on board, one main BIOS and a backup BIOS. So let's say your, um, your BIOS fails, you, you've inputted the wrong settings, maybe at too high a voltage. So basically what will happen is it'll, uh, your system will reboot and it will back up based on that main BIOS. So it will erase those original settings that you just changed. So basically no matter what settings you have, even if it is, uh, doesn't allow your system to boot, Gigabyte Dual BIOS will automatically revert to that main BIOS and boot it for you. So there you have it. There's Gigabyte Touch BIOS. It's very easy to use. You can use a keyboard and mouse. You can also use your finger. And anybody who's got a Z68 motherboard can use Touch BIOS. In fact, all you have to do is download the latest uh, drivers uh, or the application on the Gigabyte website. And you can actually see the, the website scrolling below me. So there you have it. There's Gigabyte's new Touch BIOS.